As you could tell by the title of this video, let's get into this quick unboxing of Edochrone's newly introduced Focus Plus Pro. If you watched my review of the Head Plus version one, I didn't recommend the Focus module. And the reason behind that is just, it's just too difficult to use and it doesn't support anything other than Cine lenses. So any servo or focus by wire lenses, you're not gonna get the best, most reliable results. I will preface this video by saying that Edochrone does say that the Focus Plus Pro module also doesn't support focus by wire uh, lenses, but I don't see why it wouldn't because of the way this operates. Uh, we'll test that here in this video and then I'll give you my recommendations by the end of it. Here's uh, the user manual and all the documentation that comes in support of your Focus Plus Pro. In the box here, you're going to get three lens gears and an Allen key for making adjustments. Here's the actual module. But before we finish taking a look at this, let's get into the box. Uh, at the bottom here, you got a lens calibration tool. With the lens calibration tool, they give you a base so you can set this thing up. Here you would just, you know, slide this on and then you can stand this up and calibrate your lenses. You get three different lengths of 15 millimeter rods. And this is what you're gonna be mounting the Focus Plus Pro with. Additionally, they give you a 19 millimeter rod adapter a, a attachment. And the clever thing about the Focus Plus Pro is that with this, you get dual adjustability with the way that they designed their rod mount. So the more you loosen this up, the looser this becomes and it comes out and it's got this unique little uh, mounting setup. So as you tighten this down, this uh, little portion here, this little uh, groove tightens to the body of the actual Focus Plus Pro and holds your Focus Plus Pro in place. So I need to loosen this up. It fits in this little groove here on the Focus Plus Pro. So that is a really nice design, really well thought out. So you can, you know, adjust the heights of it and whatnot. So with the explanation of the mounting mechanism on the Focus Plus Pro out of the way, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the actual module itself. Uh, let's flip it around the back and see how you power this thing. It is powered via a Canon LPE6 battery. Here you can see on the front, there's a power button. This is a fully autonomous module within the Edochrone system. So you don't need anything other than this and a means to mount uh, the rod to your lens or your lens gear. Uh, on the side here, you can see this plastic see-through glass type of thing right here. That's where it's gonna connect wirelessly because everything else on this thing is metal. The whole housing is constructed of metal and that is a nice thing to have. Also on this side of the cutout for the wireless connection is the shutter release input. This will allow you to, you know, set up time lapses and stuff like that if you need to pull focus during those. And that's why this is such a great standalone tool because that is also an option on the Focus Plus Pro. On the bottom, you can power this thing via DC input. They give you that availability here as well. You don't have to use any, you know, like dummy batteries or anything. You can just connect directly into it. And those are the two different ways that you can power this thing. At the top here, you can see that there is this free floating uh, gears here. Uh, this is what I'm really excited about because you can hand adjust your lenses. And that's why I want to test uh, focus by wire lenses on this thing to see if we can get uh, repeatable and accurate shots quickly and easily. I'm really excited to have this in-house because it is going to adapt to my Head Plus version one. You don't have to have the Head Plus version two because like I said, this is a standalone module and you can adapt it to pretty much anything that they have. Uh, or if you don't have any Edochrome gear and you just wanna be able to manually pull focus in a, a quick and accurate way, you can just you know buy this module find a, some sort of cage or something that allows you to mount a rod to it, and connect it to your lens and you're off and running. That is a huge benefit over this old focus module. So if we're looking at the two here, you can see they're roughly the same size, but the focus module doesn't have any other input. It doesn't work without the head plus and you know, the connection, the RJ45 connection on the head plus. So you need to have that to make this work. Uh, the reason why I didn't recommend this uh, in my full review of the Head Plus is because this doesn't move. I mean, you can see it move a little bit here, but you can't hand adjust focus using this uh, module. That is why I didn't recommend it. The high cost of this, uh, in addition to its uh, limited capability and limited use, this is a no-go. So if you bought the Head Plus and you had autofocus lenses, 
that uh, you could totally skip this and buy another lens or something like that. That is not the case with the Focus Plus Pro. This thing is free floating, hand adjustable, and it is just an awesome tool to have because you can use it outside of Etochrome systems all by itself. Well, that does it for the unboxing experience of the Focus Plus Pro. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at it uh, mounted on an actual system. Okay, so here we have the Focus Plus Pro mounted on my Head Plus version one, utilizing my so uh, Sony a7 III with Sigma 18 to 35 adapted using the MC11 adapter for Canon to Sony E-mount. I also have the Slider Plus Pro Compact. If you wanna watch a video on this and the actual motor, uh, I'll leave a link in the description or I'll also put a card up in this video as well. I wanna talk about using focus by wire lenses with the Focus Plus Pro. Now I'm gonna preface this by saying that the Edelkron by no means has uh, you know, blessed this. It even says in their documentation for the Focus Plus Pro that it doesn't support focus by wire lenses but it does work because it does remember where you set your last focus. So when you go into the app, you can either do smart pairing or manual pairing. I like going to manual pair because it finds all of my stuff and I can see everything is ready to be paired. So I'm gonna select all the things that I want to be paired in this instance, and then I'm gonna hit pair and connect. So here is where the Focus um, Plus Pro is going to go to work. It's searching for lens limits at this point. And it's gonna spin infinitely in one direction because it is looking for hard stops. It will continue to spin if you don't stop it. So I'm gonna put my finger here, stop that. And it, it's asking if it's at macro or infinity. At this point, I know that my lens is at macro. It's all the way there. And now it thinks that this is an actual you know, cine lens that has hard stops. That is kind of a problem. It's just probably why this doesn't support it. I don't know why it's searching for lens limits. It should just turn on and then allow you to set them. Maybe that'll come in a future firmware upgrade and I hope Edelkron does bring that here. But I've noticed as far as setting this thing, you literally move it to the spot you want it to and then you can turn the focus ring where you want it. It'll remember this by setting that key pose. You can move it to the second key pose, change the focus, and set the second key pose. Uh, up to six key poses using the, control, uh, the app. With the controller, you get three. I prefer the controller because it's a much easier experience and it doesn't go through this searching for lens limits on the controller. I don't know why it does that with the app. And now that I have my key poses set, I can just go in between them and it will make focus adjustments. I don't know if you can see here on camera, but it is moving to my last um, memorized key pose and it's making those focus adjustments precisely. So it does work. I recommend this for focus by wire lenses. You're going to get some pretty good results uh, with one caveat, however, is that using these gear lenses or you know, these lens gears that are included in the box is probably not a good idea you're probably not gonna get the best results. One recommendation I'm gonna make to you is that you get on followfocusgears.com and purchase these 3D printed lens gears. Uh, they are custom made for your specific lens. Get on their site, take a look at what they have. They've had the 24 to 105, and if you have something like the uh, Sigma 18 to 35, which I know a lot of content creators do. This will allow you to create a much more substantial connection with the Focus Plus Pro and give you much better results. And followfocusgears.com also make them for uh, the zoom ranges on your lenses. So if you wanted to, you could use the Focus Plus Pro uh, to create some sort of uh, vertigo effect as you're making these parallax moves and whatnot because if you have a good you know, uh, autofocus system on your camera and that communicates with the lens really well, you can create that kind of shot really easily uh, because I bought both, I can use it for focus or uh, zoom ranges. Uh, same goes with the 24 to 105. I'm not affiliated with followfocusgears.com or anything like that and the link in the description is not an affiliate link, it's just something I recommend uh, to give you better results in shooting your footage. Let's go ahead and take a, some, uh, take a look at some sample footage. I'll shoot some vertigo um, type of shots as well as focus, and you be the judge of those.
My closing thoughts on the Focus Plus Pro is that it is an absolute must have if you are invested in Etochrone uh, gear like I am, as you can see. I bought this thing with my own hard earned money because I really love their gear and it just makes my life that much easier. And it makes shooting B-roll and things like that a lot more fun. I don't know what it is about having motorized gear do the work for you, but it's, it's a quite entertaining scenario. I do have some caveats to recommending this to you before I do. Um, if you don't, if you just plan on using the Focus gear that comes in the box, you're probably not gonna get the best results especially if you try to attach this to a servo lens or a focus by wire lens, you're probably not gonna have a good time. I would uh, recommend that you go to followfocusgears.com and take a look at their uh, options for your lens, your specific lens. Another thing that I would have you keep in mind is that I wouldn't purchase this if all you have is focus by wire lenses. If you have some center lenses, this is gonna be the perfect attachment. You also don't need to have a bunch of Etochrone gear. This could be your first thing if you're looking to uh, capture critical focus quickly and easily. Another thing, you know, you're gonna have to purchase some Canon LPE6 batteries if you don't have any. If you're interested in pricing and availability of the Focus Plus Pro, it will be linked in the description. Uh, full disclosure with that though, is that those are my affiliate links. So if you purchase through them, they provide me a little bit of commission based off your purchase without costing you anything in addition. It's a way for you to help support content creation here on this channel. It gives me the ability to buy things like this. And along those lines, I did buy the Focus Plus Pro. Etochrome didn't send it to me. I didn't communicate them in, with them in any way, shape or form. I will say that I did take advantage of their trade up program. Uh, that's something that I think is really cool because they send you uh, or they apply a credit to your purchase of new gear based on the old gear that you've already purchased. So my focus module got me 150 bucks off of this. Uh, that's one thing that I would also recommend that you do that isn't affiliate based is that if you have Etochrome gear like the focus module, get that 150 bucks off of this and purchase directly from Etochrome. It's just a really awesome deal. And then sell the old one and recoup a lot of your costs there. Well, that about does it for me in this one. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I'm Tomas and I'll catch you in the next one.